A shock comes in the mail for an Omaha wife and mother. CenturyLink sent her a bill that nobody expected, and it has put a crunch on the family budget. Mike McKnight finds out why in this Six on Your Side report. Last summer when CenturyLink made an online offer to bundle internet with Prism TV, Carrie Rablin said yes. I thought it was going to cost me around $69, $70 a month. But when the December bill for $593 came, Carrie said, oh no. Complete surprise. Nothing that I budgeted for. For the first three months of the deal, Carrie says she received bills of about $69 a month after a discount for installers missing appointments. Then the December bill arrives with pages of unexpected surcharges. It is a confusing mess. I work in accounting and I would have to sit here and look at this for a week to figure it out. Carrie wants CenturyLink to click off most of the nearly $600 in charges on her bill. Taking a closer look at the bill, you can see why Carrie is concerned about fighting it. The $593 due the 10th of January. We're past that, and she's concerned about CenturyLink sending this to collections. Carrie says it's unfair for CenturyLink to charge her eight times more in one month for service that cost her far less for three straight months before. Why are they, they now going backwards and charging me for things that... I never thought I was going to get charged for. Carrie didn't have a complaint about the quality of CenturyLink cable and internet service, but a bill of nearly $600 is not the bundle she expected. In Omaha, Mike McKnight, WWT6 News. After an email from Six on Your Side, a CenturyLink spokesperson sent us a response. It reads, in part, after investigating our customer's account, we found that the bill was not processed properly. We are evaluating the issue further. CenturyLink values our customers. We apologize for this issue. Carrie says CenturyLink agreed to write off the four months of back billing and lower the monthly charge to the original $70 a month.